Hi there, this is Sammy. This is a master test focusing on progressive tenses of verb. If you haven't watched my previous videos on past, present, and future progressive tenses of verb, can you watch them first before taking this mastery test? Once again, I'm Sammy and I'm an English teacher. In this channel, I upload videos about grammar and pronunciation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Once again, this master test is a combination already of the three tenses that we discussed last time. Past, present, and future progressive tenses of verb. For example, I blank right now. The time indicator used here is right now. So ibig sabihin, yung action ay nangyayari ngayon. So we should use the present progressive tense of the verb. So sleep will become sleeping. And the subject is I, so it should be I am. Okay? I am sleeping. Now, we use the adverb not and it is used in the middle of the progressive tense of the verb. So the answer is am not sleeping. I am not sleeping right now. This is a 25 item mastery test and you have 20 seconds to answer each item. Later on, we will discuss the answers. So if you're ready, let's start.
All right, so let's check your answers. Number one, it blank when we go to Japan. Let's focus on the second clause kasi meron ditong conjunction na when, okay? When we go to Japan. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung verb na ginamit is go, it's in simple present tense. Napag-usapan natin last time na ang simple present tense ay kapartner ng future progressive tense of the verb. So the answer would be, will be snowing. It will be snowing when we go to Japan. Ito yung example sentence ng ongoing action in the future that would overlap another action. So, tuloy pa rin yung pag-snow kahit na merong second action. Ito yung second clause, when we go to Japan. Number two, these days, my brother blank more money from his business. The time indicator used here is these days. Ibig sabihin, yung ongoing action ay nangyayari sa kasalukuyan, okay? Sa ngayon, sa panahon ngayon. Now, we either use is or are earning. So, paano natin malalaman kung ano ang dapat na gamitin? Let's identify the subject. The subject used in this sentence is brother. Isa lang siya, singular, so we should use is. These days, my brother is earning more money from his business. Number three, as a teacher, I help students who blank to learn the English grammar. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung ang ongoing action ay nangyayari in the past, present, or future? Let's focus on this phrase, as a teacher. So, ibig sabihin ko ikaw yung speaker at meron kang sinasabing action na nangyayari at the present time, you would really use this phrase as a teacher or as a doctor, as a pharmacist, okay? Pero kung yung action na sinasabi mo ay nangyayari na in the past, ang sasabihin mo dito is, when I was a teacher, when I was a doctor, when I was a pharmacist, okay? Or kung future naman, mangyayari pa lang in the future, you should say, when I become a teacher, when I become a doctor, okay? But here in this sentence, they use phrases as a teacher. So, ibig sabihin, nangyayari itong action na to at the present time. Now that we know that it is in present progressive tense of the verb, we should identify if we should use the M is or are struggling okay in this sentence i is the subject help is the verb i help students now itong noun na students ay modify or inilalarawan ng isa pang clause itong clause na ito ay yung who blank to learn the english grammar so students i plural right so we should use are are struggling number three as a teacher, I help students who are struggling to learn the English grammar. Number four, she blanked to bring her wallet these days. Ito ay example ng temporary habit. Pero, napag-usapan natin ito sa past progressive tense and sa present progressive tense of the verb. Ngayon, dito sa mastery, magkahalo na, di ba? Present, past, or future. Paano mo malalaman, okay, na dapat ang gamitin ay past at hindi present. Or baka naman present dapat siya, hindi past. Ang titingnan mo lang dyan ay yung time indicator that is used in the sentence. Balikan natin itong sentence. She blanked to bring her wallet these days. Ang time indicator used ay these days. So, ibig sabihin sa ngayon. Okay? Sa panahon ngayon. That means this temporary habit is happening at the present time. Next, should we use am, is, or are? What is the subject in the sentence? She, okay? She is singular, so we should use is, okay? Forgetting, is forgetting. And then, you always should be in the middle, okay? Is, always forgetting. So, the answer for number four is, she is always forgetting to bring her wallet these days. Number five, most of the students blank when I went to their room. In this sentence, merong second clause na ginamit, okay? When I went to their room. Napag-usapan natin sa previous videos na pagka may when clause, may second clause, okay? Titingnan nyo lang lagi yung verb na ginamit dun sa clause na yon. Tulad dito, ang ginamit ay simple past, okay? Went, simple past. Napag-usapan din natin na ang simple past ay partner ng past progressive tense of the verb. So, dun pa lang malalaman nyo na na ang dapat gamitin dito sa sentence na ito ay past progressive tense of the verb. Now, 
Dapat ba natin gamitin ang was or where? The subject is the word students and it's plural. So we should use where, okay? Most of the students were reviewing when I went to their room. By the way, itong subject verb agreement ay napag-usapan na natin sa previous videos natin. So kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, lalagay ko na lang yung link dito sa taas. Number six, I blank the school tomorrow morning. This is a bit tricky dahil may time indicator na ginamit dito, tomorrow morning. Pero hindi ito future progressive tense of the verb, okay? Sa rule na napag-usapan natin last time, any ongoing action in the future that will definitely happen, ibig sabihin, sigurado nang mangyayari, we should use the present progressive tense of the verb, okay? So the answer is, am going. I am going to school tomorrow morning. Number seven, the officers blank to investigate the case for the next two weeks. So, gagamitin ba natin ang present progressive tense of the verb? Kasi nangyayari na ito eh. Pero, magpapatuloy ito in the future. So, gagamitin ba natin ang future progressive tense of the verb? Last time, napag-usapan natin ito, right? Any ongoing action at the present time that will eventually continue in the future should take the future progressive tense of the verb. Okay? So, this should be will be continuing. Now, the word still should be put after the auxiliary verb will, okay? Will still be continuing. Number seven, the officers will still be continuing to investigate the case for the next two weeks. Number eight, I think I blank a major traffic jam later because of the accident. The time indicator used is later, so that means the ongoing action will happen in the future. So, we should use the future progressive tense of the verb. The answer is, will be experiencing. I think I will be experiencing a major traffic jam later because of the accident. Number nine, the manager blank the bank's regulations. Manager is singular, so we use is, okay? Is implementing. Strictly will be put after is. Is strictly implementing. The manager is strictly implementing the bank's regulations. Number 10. While the manager blank her statements to the press, the staff were just listening. Kung napapansin nyo, may dalawang clauses dito, okay? Yung first clause, yun yung may while, okay? While the manager blank her statements to the press, and then yung second clause ay, the staff were just listening. We use while for two ongoing actions. We call them parallel actions. Ibig sabihin, may dalawang actions na sabay na nangyayari. Just look at the given action. The given action in this sentence is, we're listening. And it's in past progressive tense of the verb, right? So we should also use the past progressive tense of the verb give, okay? Giving. So should we use was or were giving? The subject in the first clause is manager. It's singular. So we should use was, okay? While the manager was giving her statements to the press, the staff were just listening. Number 11. This bridge blank the two cities. The subject in the sentence is bridge. It's singular, okay? Isa lang siya. So we should use is, not are, okay? We use is, pag isa lang ang subject, singular. We use are, Pag plural or marami ang subject, okay? This bridge is connecting the two cities. Number 12. The governor blanks some questions in public soon. The time indicator used is soon. So, ibig sabihin, yung ongoing action ay mangyayari pa lamang sa hinaharap. Okay? So, the answer is, will be answering. The governor will be answering some questions in public soon. Number 13. These days... The incident blank heated discussions among the officials. These days is used for present progressive tenses of verb. Okay? Ibig sabihin ito sa ngayon or sa panahon ngayon. Nangyayari itong action na ito. So, should we use are or is triggering? The subject in the sentence is incident. Isa lang siya. Okay? So, we should use is. Okay? These days, the incident is triggering heated discussions among the officials. Number 14, Shane blanked to call her dad when she suddenly saw him. There is another clause here, when she suddenly saw him. 
Ginagamit lamang natin ito pag halimbawa yung ongoing action ay na, may na-overlap na action or na-interrupt ng isa pang action. Okay? Yung verb na ginamit dito sa clause na ito ay so. It's in simple past tense of the verb. And we all know that simple past tense ang partner ng past progressive tense of the verb. So, we should use was or were trying. Shane is singular, so we should use was, okay? Shane was trying to call her dad when she suddenly saw him. Number 15. The climate blank hotter each year. The time indicator used is each year. So, ibig sabihin, itong ongoing action na ito ay nangyayari every year. Okay? Taon-taon. So, we should use the present progressive tense of the verb. Climate is singular. So, we should use is. Okay? The climate is getting hotter each year. Number 16, I blank home right after school. Anything na gagawin mo in the future at sure ka na na gagawin mo or mangyayari, you should use the present progressive tense of the verb, okay? So, it should be am going. Kasi ay siya, di ba? So, we should use am. I am going home right after school. Number 17, Lisa blank on the street when her teacher saw her. So, again, meron tayong second clause dito, Okay? When her teacher saw her. And the verb used in the second clause is saw. This is in past simple tense of the verb. And we all know that past simple tense of the verb is used with past progressive tense of the verb. So, we should use was or were walking. Lisa is singular, so we should use was, okay? Lisa was walking on the street when her teacher saw her. Number 18, the train blank in 3 minutes. This will surely happen, so we should use the present progressive tense of the verb, okay? Train is singular, so we should use is. The train is arriving in 3 minutes. Number 19, my friends were chatting while I blank a novel. There are two clauses here. And my conjunction din na while na ginamit. So, ibig sabihin, may dalawang ongoing actions ang nangyayari dito sa sentence na to. Ngayon, ang tanong ay, nangyayari ba ang actions na to at the present time? Nangyari in the past or mangyayari pa lang in the future? So, titingnan lang natin yung given action, okay? We're chatting. Nangyari ito in the past. So, yung isang action dapat ay gamitan din natin ng past progressive tense of the verb. So, the answer is, was reading. Was dahil I is singular, okay? My friends were chatting while I was reading a novel. Number 20. I blank all the important materials right now. The time indicator used here is right now. So, ibig sabihin, itong ongoing action ay nangyayari at the present time, okay? At the moment of speaking. So, we should use present progressive tense of the verb. Now, should we use am, is, or are? The subject is I, so we should use am, okay? Am preparing. I am preparing all the important materials right now. Number 21, my sister said that she blank her phone for the next two weeks. Medyo nakakalito lang itong sentence na to, pero try natin in Filipino, okay? Sabi ng kapatid ko, hindi daw niya gagamitin ang kanyang telepono sa susunod na dalawang linggo. So, ibig sabihin, may sinabi sa akin yung kapatid ko, it happened in the past, okay? Sinabi niya in the past, pero yung action na gagawin niya ay mangyayari pa lang in the future. At dahil mangyayari pa lang ang ongoing action in the future, we should use the future progressive tense of the verb, okay? Will be using. I-insert lang natin itong not after ng will, okay? Will not be using. My sister said that she will not be using her phone for the next two weeks. Again, my sister said this in the past, okay? Kaya yung verb na ginamit, I said, okay? Nangyari in the past. Pero, yung gagawin niya ay mangyayari pa lang in the future, okay? Okay? This will happen for the next two weeks. Kaya ang gagamitin dapat ay future progressive tense of the verb. Number 22. I blank home when the program starts. Dalawang clauses dito. May when, okay? When the program starts. At ang ginamit na verb in the second clause is in present simple tense. 
we already talked about this, na ang present simple tense ay ka-partner ng future progressive tense of the verb. Okay? So, sana hindi kayo malito. Hindi ko mo simple present siya, dapat ay present progressive tense of the verb din. Hindi, okay? Simple present tense ay partner ng future progressive tense of the verb. So, the answer is, will be going home. Okay? I'll be going home when the program starts. So, ito ay example ng na-overlap na action, okay? Overlap action in the future. Number 23, I blank back there again. This is an example of an ongoing action that is not happening at the present time. Kaya siya gagamitan ng not, okay? Not is an adverb. It's an adverb of negation. The subject is I, so we should use am, okay? Am going. We just insert not in the middle, okay? Am not going. Number 23, I am not going back there again. Number 24, which one is correct? Okay, let's discuss first letter B, okay? Will not she be joining the poetry writing? Not should be after she, okay? And letter A follows this rule. Letter A, will she not be joining the poetry writing? The answer is letter A. Number 25, which sentence is correct? Letter A, will you revising your essay? Letter B, will you be revising your essay? Ang pinakaiba lang dito ay yung letter B ay may B, okay? Letter A, wala. So, it's wrong. Because in future progressive tense of the verb, we use the auxiliary verb will plus B and the main verb plus I and G. So, letter B is the answer. Will you be revising your essay? Alright, so what's your score? I want to know your score, so please comment down below. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share. Once again, I'm Sammy, and thank you for watching.